Hey, key lime kisses. So I am going to do this a little bit different. I went to a big estate sale and a big um, church sale and got tons of stuff. Hopefully, oh, Jesus, let me turn you around. All right, so I'm going to show you what I got. Um, I got this. This is Natural Wonder by Daisy. So it was $5. Um, comp, it was actually half off. So everything in the church sale was half of what it says. This thing is a little natural hair dryer. This, hey mama duck. So this thing sells for about 70 bucks and I paid 250 for that. So I also got, um, all of their mugs were 10 cents. Hey Tim. Hey Nikki. Um, I, so I paid five cents for this. I didn't comp a lot of this cause I was just trying to grab, um, but this is made in Germany. So it's pretty cool. And then I got two of these little bowls. They were five cents. Birds and Bees by Sango. I've learned a lot of this bright color stuff. Hand painted. Um, sells super good. So one was marked a dollar. And then I had a second one that was marked a quarter. And they went on the lower price. So I got those. Another coffee cup. So this was 50 cents. Um, I think this, listen, so Tim, they were like super mad at me. I wouldn't let them wrap the China. <laughs> like I scare everybody with it, but hopefully you guys will see. I don't break it. Um, <laughs> I hope. So this is really cool. This is like a vintage mustard crock. I'm not sure when it's from. Um, it had a tag from like an, uh, like maybe an antique store or something so it was two so i paid a dollar for it but it's got the stopper and everything i thought that was pretty cool for 50 cents and i think i actually paid less um because the ladies checking me out were like um <laughs> they just put everything in a stack so this plate was five cent and it's got i've learned a lot of the peacock stuff does very well hey summers so this one is Satsuma Heritage Mint, but for five cents, I don't think that I will do very bad on that one. These I did look up and I found some comps, so I paid a dollar fifty for the set. And yeah, that one's like mint condition, KJ. Um, so this is all of these, and I found like one or two of these were selling for like eight bucks. This is DC Brown and Company. American Quilt is the pattern. So I got the three little saucers. And then these dessert plates. And there's also a serving bowl that should be some decent money. I'm trying not to break anything. Um, I don't, what do you guys think? So I didn't pay anything. They just threw this in. It's like vintage AT&T shoelaces. Like... I mean, five, I don't think they charge me for it. Um, but yeah, AT&T, they're like still in the plastic, never used. I thought those might be worth something. This is a really cool pattern too. So 50 cents for this one. This one is Royal Worcester. Hey, Tim, Worcester. My dad was from Worcester. That's the only way I know how to say that, or at least how people from Boston say it. Um, so... I, KJ, those ladies were looking at me like I was crazy when I was putting these plates in. I'm trying not to. So this one is pretty cool. That one, I don't think they charge me $2.50. I've sold other Mary Naylor stuff. They're hand painted for, I want to say, like $20 to $30. Um, so that one should be good. I got so much, the ladies like just piled it and gave me a price for everything. So everything you're seeing, I only paid um 20, it was $27.50, but I gave them tips. So this yard sale or church sale, um, 
couple of pickers were live yesterday and I do live by them. And I said, hey, since you went yesterday, will you tell me where it's at? And they told me, so all of this came up from the sale that couple of pickers went to yesterday. So I got this throw blanket. It's like a Christmas one. for a dollar fifty i get throw blankets anytime i can cheap this bag i looked up some comps and i saw some for like 30 bucks this is um american flyer brand and it's in like pretty decent condition except for the rip right there but like the inside is like it's never been used and it's like an upholstery bag so that was pretty cheap too this tell me what you guys think about this so this is poo it's like an actual luggage if you see the bottom and it's got the wheels and it still has the tags from disney cruise lines so i couldn't find any comps on this um but i like it's in really super good shape i saw some tigger ones that sold for like 30 bucks but i don't know what this one will do i didn't even notice the wheels till now um but yeah it's got poo it says poo on the two ends and then the one side has the big print so that's pretty cool this was like 50 cents um they didn't charge me the $2.50, a little Tinkerbell throw. I've had good luck selling those for like 10 bucks. This is a Pentax bag. I couldn't really find comps, but it's like a thick canvas. Hey, David. Um, It's in, I think it's a camera bag. It's in like excellent condition. Yeah, Summers, I probably will on that poo. Um, Because I saw some other Disney Cruise Line that were Mickey that were selling pretty good. Um, so I probably will price it at like 50. So this brand, it doesn't have like a super high sell through rate. It's Scottish Isle. Hey, Sam. Um, whoa. but it's a golf one. It says Scottish Isle golf. So the few I saw that sold, sold for like 40 to like 50 bucks. So this was, I think 50 cents, not bad. Then I got this little dinosaur backpack for 50 cents for Dalton. Another throw. This again is a Christmas one and was like $1.50. I have really good luck selling these for like 30 to 50 bucks. This one's Crown Crafts. I'm not familiar with that brand. So I am going to look that one up to see. And then this is my mom's chair. Let me see this is dangerous like do you guys see how packed my truck is i don't know if i can get this up that sounds good oh sorry guys now I'm tear to sit in um so this isn't marked it just says der i think it was handmade sorry kj um and it was 50 cents so not too bad on that one. So check this out. I did not comp this because it was three and then it was half off that. Plus it comes with a new cassette. Um, but it's a cassette. It's on cassette recorder. I got another one at the estate sale too. So for $1.50, I figured not bad. These comped out okay. So this is Shane Victorino. It's a bobblehead. It was 50 cents. And I think they're looking like probably me. I saw one sell for 12, but I saw other sell for like 40. So it's in like perfect shape. And then I got these for Brad, like really heavy duty grill tools. So I got them in a crown royal bag at the church sale, which is great. This I looked up was selling at 40 bucks i paid two because this stuff was all half off and this is like perfect mint in the box so it's eureka 
upright vacuum. So anytime I see this vintage stuff that's in the box, I tend to get it. So $2 into 40 there. And then let's see. So I don't know if this Amway Queen stainless steel made in the USA is worth anything, but I didn't get it for that. They sold me these two pots. This is from the estate sale. So check out what kind of pot that is. Cutco 5-ply aluminum core. And I paid $2.50 for this Cutco. Really big, great shape. And I think this pot should bring me at least like 50 to 60 bucks. Um... I'm not, I think the lid goes with the Cutco. Sorry, guys. I have not looked this up. I don't know if anybody's familiar with this one. Um, hey, Yakov. Hey, Eric. So this cost 50 cents, and it's Ralph Lauren from 1989. Bottle's about half full, but for 50 cents, like this guy was like two for a dollar. I got that one, and then I got this Rio perfume, which is about half full too. He did two for a dollar on these. Um, I sold one similar to this for like 50 bucks before, so I don't know. And check out this belt. So this belt, I paid a dollar for it. So there's the belt buckle. But I'm, I'm probably going to separate them. So the belt buckle is Montana Silversmith Sterling Silver Plate. And the belt, though, like, look at how immaculate condition this belt is. And he charged me a dollar for the belt and the belt buckle. Eric, I'm, like, switching it up. I don't know why, but I am. So this belt is Silver Creek Collection. Genuine leather. And it's just, yeah, it's a beautiful, beautiful belt. When he said a dollar, I was like, sure. So I got that. So this is mixed um, estate sale. This was all estate sale here, the um, Cutco pan. I brought these out. So once I show you guys, I can bring them in. So this basket is just like that basket I just sold for $37. Um, and I paid 50 cent and this is like way bigger. So I think I can get like 50 bucks for this basket. I'm blocking my daughter's car in. So if she decides she wants to go somewhere. So check this out. Durango boots in the box. They are not new. Um, but... I like they have, have a little bit of like mildew I, that wipes right off. I do have leather wipes, but brand new or not brand new. They're worn, but lightly. It's not horrible. And um, I paid $5 for these with the box, which I think is awesome. They're size 12, which is a great size. So you can see they were originally 100 the box is in really good shape um so hopefully that will be okay and then this thing i paid 20 dollars for this um there's some of, of the garage sale stuff in here too but it's got like all of this craft stuff um like tons and tons I know like the Sally stuff, I've sold stamps of that for like $8 a stamp. So this is just like, there's Tinkerbell. Um, I think I'll just lot these up. And the cool thing is um, like every drawer is full, but this top drawer has like all of these like vintage embroidered patches, like bees, there's grapes. I think these should sell like super well. I don't know if this person made them um, or what, but this whole basket, like there's a cute little monkey, is full of all of these cute little embroidered patches. Like there's some pansies. 
I think those might be worth some money. There's a whole bunch more there. So I just asked him instead of um, me looking through the whole thing, would he make me a deal for all of it? And he said 20 bucks for everything. So there might, depending on like what characters and stuff are in here. Okay, so I had to stuff stuff in this to make room. Um, this is a new wave. It was comping out at like 50 to 60. This was at the church sale. So it was only $2.50, um, which is awesome. So that'll be, and it looks like the sell-through rate's really good. Um, the cool thing, these books were in this that I got for 20 And, like, the price on these books for these designs, like, 17 bucks a piece. So I'm hoping that, and one of my friends just sold some cross-stitch pattern books. And she sold them really fast for good money. So I'm hoping that just these cross-stitch books will pay for the whole 20 bucks that I paid. So I also, I paid 12 cents for this. This is Papel. Um, it's 50th anniversary mug. So like a quarter. Calvin, I didn't find nothing like you found. Calvin beat me today. Calvin found an awesome find. You guys got to see it. Um, he put it on Instagram. This is Royal Dalton. And this was 10 cents. I don't know if it's Longa Burger Mama Duck because I'm not super familiar. When I listed the other one, I put it as um, I put it as a basket for flower and herb gathering. So this is Linux Winter Everyday Greetings. So five cents for this one. There is a vintage FSU mug. Which, I'm a Gator fan, but I, I'll make money on FSU. This is the old Florida State um, logo, so that is vintage. Um, let's see. Oh. So, yikes. I paid $2 for this whole set because this was at the church sale, so it was half off. These are really cool. They are um, handcrafted in the Philippines. They're monkey pod wood. So it's, I think it's like they all still have their tags on them. And I think that this is like a salad bowl. And then there are like a serving salad bowl. And there are four individual. So I think I can get like $40 for this set with the bowls and... Um, and the utensils. Oh, I'm back. Ha <laughs> ha. So I broke a bowl. Yeah. <laughs> Not good. I didn't break this bowl though. Check the bowl out. I don't know if Tim's still here. So this bowl was 50 cents. Divided. I think it's carnival glass. It's pretty cool. I did break a really nice bowl. That sucks. Um, this is the one that was marked a quarter. I showed you guys at the beginning. Here. This plate was a dollar. It's stamped. Um, I think that's wed Wedgwood. Not 100%, but um, pretty sure that's Wedgwood. And then I got this picture was like 10 cents. It is. Um, this is a cash family and I was able to find some of these on um, eBay and they do comp out pretty good. Like I might get 20 to 30 bucks for this picture because it's a little family um it's a little family-owned pottery business out of Tennessee, which is pretty cool. And then I also got this one. These are comping out at like $40 to $50. And I paid $1.50. This is still the church sale. So this one is called Blue Lemons. And I was able to find exact comps on that one while I was at the church sale. And then I think the rest of this is my estate sale stuff. So I got this picture from the estate sale. 
um, was made in Portugal. I paid a dollar for this one. And then I got this troll with the wish stone for three bucks. They were competent like 15 to 20, even without the box. So hopefully I can get like 20 bucks for that. And then I got this mobile one racing hat. That was a dollar. All of this stuff is the price that you see. Um, the spider hat. Look at under the bill of that hat. I already broke stuff, Calvin. I already broke it. So, pretty cool Spider-Man hat. A dollar. Um, I got this cool, like, flow blue type plate. Two dollars. Um, this one is stamped Wileman. I don't know if you guys can see that, but that one's stamped. And then this is pretty cool. I don't know if Tim's still in here, but this is a book by Petra Williams about um, Flow Blue China. And it was only a dollar. So it's pretty cool. It has like the different patterns. So I love finding it. Um, and I'd like to learn more about the pattern. Summers, if you want it for like uh, 10 plus shipping, so like 14 bucks, I'll do that if you are good with that. So a dollar for this ashtray. I didn't look up these. Um, I can't even read that. It says Chronic. That's a little ashtray and then this one is pretty cool with the windmill. This one is Johnson Brothers Ironstone, which I know is a good brand. So I was good with paying a dollar for that. And then check this out. I was surprised they only had this at $2 because I think this will comp out like way higher. Um, I got to look up this artist, but I have a feeling this bull might be worth some money. And then, let's see. So I got me some Pyrex. That one was three. I don't know if I overpaid for this Pyrex. I just kind of grabbed. There's another Pyrex. $40 for what, Calvin? Oh, I'll show you inside. It looks like it's brand new. Look. So, that's the outside. And then... The inside is that, and, like, it's got Spider-Man under the bill. And there's the tag. And it is a um, snapback. And then I got this big green Pyrex bowl. I don't know what it's worth. I paid five bucks. I hope I didn't, like, pay too much for this Pyrex, but... So, I paid two for this. I think I can get like 40 bucks. So this is the Flamingo Hilton Las Vegas. And I found like some other Flamingo Hilton Las Vegas stuff on um, eBay and it's selling good. So I think that'll do okay. And then I got this Xbox Live. It was a dollar. Fantasy Star Online. I'm trying to see. I feel like my camera's dirty. Is that better? Um, I think these were selling for like $14, I want to say. So not too bad. So I also got this for a dollar. I don't know this marking and I need to look it up. Because I think that this is probably worth like, actually there's a name there. It says 1990. Um, so it says J something 1990. I have a feeling this might be worth some money too. Pretty cool piece. Okay, Calvin, here are these hats. So I told Calvin um, when I got these. So these were down the hall um, at the estate sale where it said not for sale. And I saw the box of hats. And I was like, hey, can I, can I buy those hats? <laughs> and they got them out and they sold them to me. So this says Glock support shooting foundation gssf um 
I might need help figuring these out. So I think this is like a Chevrolet Corvette racing hat, the guy said. C5R 2001, and it's autographed by like tons of people. So I'm going to have to look that. It doesn't look like it was ever worn. It's legendary. Okay, Summers. So, like, this was all, like, not for sale. I, like, forced them. This is the Weather Channel. I might have to, like, look up some of... I don't know what these signatures are. But this one's Fahrenheit. I haven't even looked at them, Calvin. These are all new. Um, Colobe. They're blanks. They're, like, the Velcro back. So, I don't... Probably not much. I mean, I paid a dollar, but I've got... Those are blank. There's a Texas Trailers. We're behind you all the way. That one is Cobra made in China. I don't know what that is. DU, Duck University maybe. Oh, look, Ducks Unlimited. This one looks brand new as well. Snapback, Ducks Unlimited. Um... NEC Soft Teach Fall 93. That's a snapback. This one, Word Perfect Boot Camp. This is foam. This is mowers. But the foam's in really good shape and it's mesh back camo. Um, what is this? Sports South Ink with that thing um some more blanks a bunch of blanks yeah i'll probably lot them up calvin there's a bunch of blanks so nothing super cool advanced auto parts um but i paid 20 for all of them so yeah i'll lot up the blanks and then the whoa i keep hearing dalton's toy so the last two things that I got real quick and I'll finish up, um, I got this, I think it's a Blu-ray player, I think. <laughs> I, all I know is I looked up the, um, I looked up this model and they sell for like 70 and I paid 10 and then last Brad's going to come home and I have stuff all in the yard. Um, this is a DVD VCR. It's the Rewriter. Um, it's Panasonic. There's your... It's yelling at me. My phone's yelling at me. There's the model number. So these comp out from like 100 Some of them $70. But there's some as high as like 150 and it was tested. I did pay 25 so I paid up a little bit for it. Um, so not to... I'm trying to turn y'all around so you can see me. I'm hot. <laughs> it's 100 degrees out here. I'm sweating. Um, yeah, so some pretty decent stuff. I'm going to try and get it listed. I figured I would go live and show you guys all this stuff instead of finishing editing my video because I want to list this stuff so thank you guys for watching i will see you guys i know i think eric's live tonight obx picker at eight i believe so i hope you guys enjoyed i hope i make some money calvin i think the stuff from the church sale is pretty awesome um the vintage hair dryer things like 70 bucks and i only paid 29 yeah message me on instagram summer all right bye you guys